Okay, guys. So after a lot of investigation on Xamarin Apple Pay, I have concluded this. Just do the web version. Um, you will save a lot of time and you can use it on your website. All you got to do is just embed this code on a web project and you're done and you're good. Web is very simple, very fast. Most developers know how to do it. It is safe, it is stable, and it is much better. Um, Google Pay is a lot easier than Xamarin, uh, Apple Pay, but this solution works. I also have to say this word, Xamarin Apple Pay documentation is outdated. You're better off using Apple Pay with JavaScript API and doing a web embedding. However, I found some links that do work on the description. It's a weird fluke that you need to press the magnifying glass on the right and select merchant IDs. That is when you select in certificates, identifiers, and profiles, you go into, uh, let me check again, it's called identifiers. When you go into identifiers, first you gotta declare yourself a identifier thing uh, for the Apple protocol and then on the magnifying glass it's a blue magnifying glass on your right side you're not gonna miss it um, and then you go and check for merchant IDs after you've created your merchant ID um, then you can actually create a certificate for that merchant ID by clicking that so I'm gonna put a few links in the description of documentation that's working right now in 2022. I really hope this is useful for everyone that wants to install Apple Pay on Xamarin. Um, on 2022. So however, I found some links that do work on the description. It's weird, it's a weird fluke. You need to press the magnifying glass on the right and select merchant IDs, then you can continue following the instructions. Also, Apple Pay is only available on Xamarin, on Safari and iOS devices. So it's kind of a big deal because it leaves out a massive amount of Apple users that don't use Safari unless they download your app. So why do you want to use Apple Pay on your app? Well, obviously because people don't need to fill out a form and it's a lot easier. There is though the fact that it requires a little bit more of coding sometimes because you have to add the product that they're gonna buy you have to add uh, a few more details than on Google Pay Google Pay is like they just let you do that on your regular UI Apple has like forces you to do it on their code on their UI which is a little bit weird uh, but it has its pros and cons like everything in life so it helps the user know exactly what they're buying, which they can see on the UI on Google Pay. But for Google, for some reasons, I mean, for Apple, they wanted to do it that way. So it's a little bit harder for developers to implement Apple Pay, as always. Um, I hope you guys can have a lot of success implementing this. Have a great day. If you have any questions, let me know.